one very exciting thing about robotics is that it's very interdisciplinary. So you can have your mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, computer scientists, even people outside of engineering uh, can all come together and participate in building a robot. You're always going to be tackling a different problem. We really believe that having a diverse group of people that can work well together is what makes us really strong and able to take on new projects. Something we're really proud of is, uh, as Robotics Club, you know, only been around a year, but we're very proud to represent uh, students from all schools at WashU. And then if we look directly at the engineering school, we actually represent all majors in the engineering school as well as all years, so freshmen all the way through graduate students. Our first meeting of every semester, people kind of enter if they're new to robotics, they're, they seem a bit shy, but by week two, everyone has a tool in their hand or they're typing away and coding. I think our leadership board does a great job at getting people up to running speed with the rest of the club and making sure they have access to the tools they need. We're always there to help them out and we really believe that like, you can come into this club without any prior experience. We would not have been able to be here, we would not have been able to have been a club and to grow this much without the support of the engineering school and specifically uh, Dean Bobvik. It's really cool to talk with him about how much uh, robotics not only means to both of us but how much we see it growing uh, both just in our modern world and here at WashU specifically. Yeah, I guess another big support base has been our sub-team members. Our first semester we had 11 people working with us and they were amazing so we ramped it up to around 50 people right now working on projects. Drone, or what we call Flashbird, is a flying, flashing drone. All semester they've been testing it out, getting it flying, and then the other component of it is the flashing part. So they put an LED screen around the edge of it, designed the entire chassis of the drone to be an LED screen, and then from there, they were able to make a web app where you can draw messages on this LED screen and then it displays them on the drone. As soon as we heard liftoff, everyone started like screaming. That was just a really cool moment for me to see like everyone supporting this, <laughs> another project. Yeah, PackBot team started as actually the car team and that was one of our first projects that we ever worked on. <laughs> Essentially what PackBot is, is Pac-Man in real life. Uh, so we built the board, which you may see behind us there, um, for our robot to navigate through. And uh, essentially we had to design the actual chassis, uh, figure out what parts we needed to use. Uh, and then we had to develop an um, AI algorithm actually to navigate the course. I guess intrinsic to the club itself, we really want to grow these projects and make sure people are going into them with the mindset like, it's gonna be fun, but you're gonna learn a lot from it. And I really believe what makes our club unique and helpful to the greater WashU scene is our ability to have these small projects and for people to work on them and be able to learn so much and really get a niche look into robotics. So Join robotics. Join robotics club. Or else. <laughs> yeah, or else. <laughs> <laughs>